what's unique about this MSc in health economics and decision science is that it's purpose-built for students coming off of either an economics background or a statistics, epidemiology and other quantitative background. We have designed a course that enables people to speak the same language, that enables cross-fertilization of ideas, but importantly, that enables students to be taught by experts in their field. So you'll be taught economics by economists, statistics by statisticians, all of whom are both experienced teachers and experienced researchers. So when we use examples in the classroom, we'll be using examples from our own work. We'll be telling you what happened in our last trial. You'll be able to get your hands on data from the last time we collected those data. And we'll be able to reflect on what it's like to work as a health economist or a decision scientist in one of the leading universities in the world. Why study an MSc in Health Economics and Decision Science? What can you do with it afterwards? This is probably a question many are asking. And the answer is really simple. There is a shortage of people specialised in the field of the economics of health and healthcare and in specialised decision science. And there is a range of different types of jobs that you can do. For a start, there's consultancy. There are, so in the private sector, consultancy and pharmaceutical companies are always employing health economists to have a real hard time, uh, a really hard time filling up their posts in this field. Um, and then there's the public sector. The UK's National Institute for Clinical Excellence is an example of an organisation that's always hungry for these skills. And equivalent organisations exist in other countries around the world. Another source of, of opportunity in the public sector is academia. The reason why I started discussions about this MSc and wanted to get it off the ground is because I just struggled to find enough really skilled people to hire into my team. I want to hire bright young academics with questions about the economics of health and healthcare and with skills in quantitative decision science. So if these are skills you want to learn, you'll have uh, no trouble, I suspect, in finding employment in a range of places once you graduate.